Hello there, this is going to be a full in-depth tour of this 2004 Toyota Yaris 1.3 in the colour collection trim showing the exterior, engine and interior. Here's the key fob, this is the Toyota key fob that they used in the early 2000s. Your lock and unlock as you can see. So let's unlock the car. This come the exterior is a Thunder Grey exterior. And inside you do have black and red pattern cloth seats along with red inserts for the interior. So to start the car, put the key in, it's a traditional way, put your foot on the clutch and then twist it. Lovely starter, let's give it a few revs. You can hear the sound of that naturally aspirated four cylinder petrol engine. Nice. Centrally mounted instrument cluster. I'll explain about it later in the video. The colour collection trim comes with a level wrap steering wheel with red stitching on the side, along with multi functional auto audio controls, electric power steering rack and pinion type. It feels slightly stiff, got a bit of weight to it. Nice. For the transmission, there's a choice between a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic. This one comes with a 5-speed manual. You do have an aluminium plate on the gear knob as well as the leather shift boot on this colour collection trim. The, you have a colour collection coming with a silver plate on the gear knob and the, around, and the gear housing too. Let's. Short shifter. No reversing camera, no backup cam, no reverse, no rear parking sensors on this one. Handbrake. Sorry. Right now, let's turn on the hazard light switch. The lights. And while down the driver's side window, the driver's side window is automatic down only, automatic up. If there's no automatic automatic function for, for the driver's side window and let's get on with the rest let's check out the exterior open up the fuel flap for the wheels this one has 14 inch y spoke five spoke alloy rims right in south Fish, nervous selfish tyres. Tyre size 175 65R 14 tyres. You do the Yaris comes with manual levelling halogen reflector headlights. The colour collection trim adds on front fog lights, halogen units. The Toyota Yaris is a subcompact B-segment hatchback introduced in 1999 to replace the Starlet and Tercel and has spanned over four generations so far with the latest generation just recently being marketed in Japan. The Toyota Yaris is formerly known as the Vitz in Japan but for the latest model they decided to rebrand the Vitz as the Yaris due to slow sales in the JDM market. The first generation, codenamed XB10, featured in this video, was on sale from 1999 to 2005 with a midlife facelift in 2003. This generation was sold in various nameplates as the Echo for the Australian and North American markets, the Platz, 
and Ziali 2000 OTN Gen Vela exclusives for the Chinese market. This generation was previewed by the Funtime concert showcase at the 1907 Frankfurt Auto Show, along with the Fun Coupe and Fun Cargo concept vehicles. Therefore, became the first global Toyota model designed in Europe and made for the European market. For body styles, the Yaris was available in three and five door hatchback forms in Europe, and also there was a Yaris Verso Mini MPV based on the former. Elsewhere, there was a four door saloon and a two door coupe body style, which used the Echo and Platz nameplate. Additionally, a Yaris Cabrio concept car was previewed at the 2000 Juniper Motor Show but never made into production. The first generation Toyota Yaris has been a hit with over a million units sold worldwide with its bubbly character, space aged interior which was ahead of its time, superior reliability and good resale values. No wonder why it won numerous awards worldwide like European Car of the Year, Semperit Irish Car of the Year, Car of the Year Japan, so on. In the UK, the first generation Toyota Yaris in pre facelift form was available in CDX, GLS, GS, S and SR trims. For the 2003 facelift, the trim levels were switched to the T grading system with trims like T2, T3 and T Spirit. The warm hatch T Sport was introduced in 2001. On the other hand, there were blue and colour collection special edition versions available. The T Spirit has goodies like steering wheel audio controls, electric mirrors, a sunroof, etc. For the design, I think it is a love it or hate it choice. In my opinion, the outside may not appeal to me, but I do like the teardrop headlights, which adds to the detail as part of the 2003 facelift. The first generation Toyota Yaris was available with a choice of three petrol engines and one diesel engine with the most powerful dub the T Sport, a warm hatch features 105 horsepower. Under the bonnet, codenamed 2SZFE, is a 1.3 litre inline 4 16 valve naturally aspirated petrol engine producing 86 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 122 Nm of torque at 4200 rpm. It has VVTI short for Variable Valve Timing with Intelligence Technology. Performance figures include a 0-100 km per hour or 0-62 miles per hour in 12.1 seconds and a top speed of 175 km per hour or 109 miles per hour. The Toyota Yaris has a 45 litre fuel tank and is a front wheel drive car. Red fabric inserts and door cards. The front two windows are powered. The driver's side gets an automatic down function. Window lock, central locking. And the personal storage for the driver. You do have your mirror controls and manual mirrors. There are no electric mirrors. You have, if you want electric mirrors, you have to go for the T-Spirit. To the right of the instrument cluster, you do have slots for your coins. To just the level of your headlights. This is an accessory that the owner of this car put in for the Bluetooth hands-free. This car doesn't have integrated Bluetooth as standard, so this is an aftermarket feature. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments, seat height, bar for sliding, and your recliner on in the middle. There's no storage drawer underneath the, foot, the driver's seat. Let's hop on in. There's a little bit of storage for the driver. Let's roll up the driver's window. The steering wheel has manual tilt. Nearly broke my nail, my thumbnail. Has manual tilt adjustment only, no telescopic for this one. It's done with, this is it has all the controls, your audio controls, volume, seat track, different sources. To the right of the you do on the white right stop you do have your wiper controls including your intermittent. To the left you do have your light indicator controls. Lovely sound. Now onto the instrument cluster. It's a digital display, it's driver orientated so the driver can see it, but the passenger cannot see it. Only the driver. 
that you can in the engine because you've got your fuel level, rev counter, odometer, and your speedometer. You can have it in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Odometer trip A, trip B. It has a centrally mounted instrument cluster that were on the first and second generation. The third generation has it mounted in the normal position. Not many cars have it mounted in the center. The Yaris color collection has manual AC controls, fire speed in the center, temperature on the right, different zones on the left, including your front defrost. You do have your air circulation, rear defrost, AC, has a light switch. For the audio, it's flanked by two AC vents. I like the sound of it makes when you adjust it. Listen to this, a bit of ASMR. For the audio, it has an integrated audio system with six with a CD player and six speakers. Let's turn it on. You, yeah, it's quite strange. The other buttons are down below. You have your six preset stations, as well as your scan, repeat, and band CD player with your eject. Let's test the sound quality. Let's switch. For the audio head unit, pressing the display button, you can cycle through settings for the audio clock your and AM, the computer. FM, CD, tape CD, go cycle be used, trip computer, average speed, range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, and then let's get put it back to radio. This is quite a simple audio head unit to use. You do on either side of the dashboard you do have some storage. Quite a good size. You do have a little bit of storage down below the controls but below your C player. Power outlet ashtray. Sorry this gets it's in the way. Two cup holders in front of the gearbox. Parking brake. You do have a storage on the left side as well, cup holder. Manual dim rear view mirror, map lights for the front, driver side sun visor with a vanity moon without a light, no grip, unfortunately, no grip handle for the driver. To summarize the interior, it's, it has a simple layout and well built. I do like the controls, the controls are simple to use. I do like the futuristic instrument cluster and the, and the seats are slightly comfortable. Not the most comfortable but they're not that bad to sit in during long journeys. But what I don't like is how the preset station for the audio is blocked up by the AC panels and you do have flimsy manual mirrors. Materials wise you expect hard plastics from a car from this class, but it's not bad. Now let's check out the rear seats. By the way, you do have Yaris door sills. There's no storage pocket, but you do have fabric inserts. Manual rear windows, they do go all the way down and like my dad's old Peugeot 377, they only go like that. How clever from Toyota. The rear seats, you, the rear seats do your fold down, pull this, look, pull this lever, they fold down, but you can tumble them in one piece. This is the view of the rear seats. Also, they can slide, but only in one piece. Use this bar right here. For space, I've got enough knee room, and for headroom, I've got a generous amount of headroom. But a six footer would be tight back here. I'm about five foot, two and a half, one point five nine meters tall. The seats 
are slightly com the rear seats are slightly comfortable. They're not that bad back here. You do have a front a seat back pocket for the on the front passenger side. You do have your map lights. They're not working for the rear. Let's take a good look at the interior. Now let's check out the boot. To open the boot, just push this keyhole in, like that. The boot's capacity stands at 286 litres, but if you want forces, you can fold down the rear seats. And the rear, with the rear seats folded, you've got 768 litres. They do also tumble down in one piece, which I can show you in another footage. Unfortunately, you can't fold the rear seat backs from the boot. You have to go from the side to do it, but to tumble them, you just have to locate this lever to slide them forward. It's not easy to do with one hand. Like that, and then you pull this bar. Let me put the camera down. It feels very heavy to lift the wrist base up, but there you are. You can use this strap to hook onto the head rest, like here, to stop it from rolling down. And now let's get back onto the boot. Good amount of size, it's decent size. Down below, you do have your spare wheel. I'm not, there's some stuff blocking it, so I'm not going to show you that. And you do have some partitions to recover if the rear seats are in that upright position, so there's no gap there. Let's close the boot. You do have a storage pocket for the front passenger. You do have the top pocket for the front passenger seat. The front passenger seat has manual adjustments, except for the seat height. You do have your recline in the center and your sliding. You do have a seat drawer. It's quite weird that the recline is on the center rather than here. And then let's hop on in. You do have door glove box. One below and the other on top. This top one is very small. The bottom is very small. This car has four airbags. Two at the front, two on the in the seats. You do have a bit of handle, very sturdy. Passenger side sun visor with vanity mirror, no cover. This is now the end of the video, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video. Stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives.